Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. It has been a hot minute since I sat down here and recorded a video so it feels so weird but your girl is back okay today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me slash story time so i told you guys in my life update that i tried a dating app i tried hinge and girl when i tell y'all that it was the ghetto it was the ghetto so you guys requested the story time so here i am to deliver on your request as always so before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below if you guys enjoy this video if you guys enjoy story times if you guys enjoy chit chat get ready with me make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions opinions anything that's on your mind after watching this video leave it down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so if you guys have watched any of my beauty videos before y'all know i cannot multitask so all of the items used in today's video will be listed down below with links for your ease of reference for your ease of shopping or whatever so make sure you guys check the description box if you guys are interested in any of the products that i am using i'm gonna try out some new products today so i'm not gonna call them out because i want to do like a separate like new makeup full face of new makeup soon so you guys will see that on my channel within the next few weeks but yeah let's go ahead and get into it so let me go ahead and prime my face and we can get into it so during the panorama y'all know that period of time we experienced in 2020 I before the pandemic let's go back before the panorama I tell myself that I will be open to dating again in case you guys don't know I was in I guess we could call it like an entanglement for about four four years and after that was over I was like I want to take time to heal myself this primer is heavily fragrance it's a no for me that's why you're supposed to smell things before touching them. That primer was a Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Primer. Heavily fragrance. And y'all know I do not. Let me wipe this off my face. Y'all know I do not do fragrance on my face. Anything that's heavily fragrance is a no for me. So I'm going to stick to what I know. My Fenty Beauty, Hy Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. And something told me, Kendra, just get the Fenty Beauty True Matte Primer. And I'm like, no, I feel like I used to use this makeup ever one. Girl, that thing smells like a perfume. Okay? But yeah, so I was in an entang entanglement for four years. After that, I'm like, I want to take time to heal myself, to learn about myself, to spend time with myself. So, I was focused. I started my YouTube channel. I was trying to figure out what job I was going to keep. Because y'all know, if y'all watch my channel for a while that your girl loves to your girl was in and out okay in and out and just getting my life together so i was not focused on dating i was not focused on finding a significant other i wasn't focused on any of that i was focused on me myself and i okay so yeah one of my closest friends from college told me like oh i tried on hinge it's the most Credible or like they have the best options out of like the other dating apps that she tried So I was like, I bet let me try hinge. So I downloaded it on my phone I did my profile and everything put up, you know, little cute Flirtatious pics or whatever. This is my first time on a dating app by the way. So I'm like, I don't know what type of pictures I'm supposed to put but I just put everything, okay? I put pictures of me in box braids, twist styles. I'm sure the boys were confused, okay? The way Hinge works, in case you guys don't know, is that you have to match with someone. So you can go through your homepage and heart people's, like, profiles. But if they don't match with you, you won't be able to, like, converse with them. You won't be able to speak to them. So I will go on, like, once a week to see, you know, what the options are, who's new, what is given, who hearted me, so that I can either heart back or X. So I'm like, okay, cool. The options were, 
had to dig in a bunch to see some options, okay? I also recorded like a little, I'll probably put it later, like a little vlog segment showing you guys the options. So, um, yeah, fast forward, I started talking to this guy. Well, like we matched and the thing with Hinge is I will have my notifications off because I don't need nobody looking at my phone like, girl, you want Hinge? Mind your business. So I have my notifications off, but as I mentioned, I would check it like once a week. So I matched with this guy. I would check my, my notifications once a week and he would take forever to respond too. So we will be exchanging one message a week basically. So he wrote me and he's like, oh, I'm not on here like this. So like, here's my number to text me and here's my Instagram page if you rather like DM me. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, like he seems, he was cute. You know, like he looked presentable, similar in age. I think he was a year younger than me. I think he was a year younger than me. So yeah, we were texting. I followed him on Instagram. Do, do, do. So... He had a job where he worked like from the afternoon into the night and I work nine to five. So our work schedules were kind of like, you know, so we wouldn't really speak on the phone like that. But I, one night I called him because I was packing to go, what trip was I going on? I was going to Cabo. Yeah, I was going to Cabo and I called him and it was like one o'clock. So he had just got off of work. So we were like talking, blah, blah, blah. And he seemed cool. So when I was away, I didn't like text or call him because when I'm on vacation, girl, I'm on vacation. So I didn't speak to him during my whole trip. And then when I came back, I was like, okay, let me text him and let him know that I'm back. So boom, we were like talking on the phone here and there. Conversation was fine. Things were, I guess we can say, moving along. And he was like, oh, um... He wants to see... First, he wanted to see me before I went to Cabo. I'm like, I'm leaving tomorrow. Then he was like, okay, when you come back. So I'm like, okay, cool. So when I came back from Cabo, his birthday was maybe like a week after I got back. So he was like, he wanted to see me before he went on his birthday trip. And I was like, okay, cool. I could like, you know, adjust my schedule accordingly. But as I mentioned, our work schedules were like... And then he was working on weekends too, which is, you know, when I'm mainly off. So we didn't really plan anything yet but we were still like speaking on the phone so <laughs> one day <laughs> i remember this day clearly i i was drinking but i wasn't really like drunk so he called me after he got off of work and we were on the phone speaking the thing with me in general is that y'all see me with people, but y'all have to remember that these people are like really my friends. Like these are people I grew up with. These are people that I'm actually close with in real life. You know what I'm saying? So he follows me on Instagram, as I mentioned, and he like see my story that night and he was kind of like, oh, why, like, why didn't I invite him out? I don't know for what, like I'm out with my friends. It's not like, I don't know, like I, it was just very weird. So after that, I feel like he got very clingy. So I was like, okay, it's time to fall back a little because like I'm, I haven't been dating for a while, but like I know that this this is kind of creepy. Like this isn't how things are really supposed to be going. You know what I'm saying? So I like stopped answering his phone calls and I was texting him back like here and there, but not as consistently as before. So boom. So one night I get a text and it's like, so he had texted me and I didn't text him back. So he sent me a text and he said something like, oh, I guess my message didn't deliver or something like that. So I'm like, okay. Then another thing that he would do that I didn't really like, I don't know if it's just me because I'm kind of picky. If you're my friend, you know that, but he would comment on like everything that I had on. And if y'all know me, y'all know I love myself a piece or two. So he would be like, oh, like that hat is fly or oh, this and that. Like basically showing that he knew what I was wearing. And to me, that's just a turn off. Like I know what I have on, you know what I have on. So why we got to talk about what I got on? So, and it wasn't like he wasn't into like designer or anything. Like he had his pieces too. So, oh my God, this is fragrance too. Ugh. Um, so yeah, so um, 
he had sent me that text. I didn't respond to it. I fell back. And then he sent me another text that was like, oh, so I guess like you're done with me or something like that. And I'm like, I don't know. Let me know. Comment right now and let me know if y'all think I was wrong for like not texting back. But things were just like not going the right way, if that makes sense. Like I was just like, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, that was that was that i don't want to say too he, he'll probably watch he'll probably end up watching this i don't know if he still looks at my instagram I blocked him on instagram blocked his phone number because with me it's like another thing is i'm busy right i have a nine to five job i do like my youtube stuff um i have a social life so anyone who speaks to me i've come to terms with needs to understand that i'm busy and i'm not just sitting around all day texting back to what you're doing so I cannot do that all day. If you text me what you're doing, where you at all day, I can't. It's like, it's the same thing. I'm working nine to five. I'm home. I'm in the spot with my friends. You watch my stories. You know where I am. So why are you, I don't know, it's just very, ooh, it was just very, I guess I can say like off-putting. I'm just like, you trying to catch me in a lie? Like, what are you trying to do? You watch my stories. You see what I'm doing. You see who I'm with. And you still asking me what I'm doing and where I'm at. So, yeah, I don't know. But that was, like, the most, I guess we can say, serious thing that came out of me using or trying out Hinge. Oh yeah, sorry, I had to focus to put my powder on. I haven't done my makeup in a minute, so the girls are kind of in a scuffle. But yeah, that was the most serious thing that happened with me on Hinge, or the most serious I have got with someone. But I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera, and then we will resume this little story time chit chat, okay? Okay, so brows are on. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that concealer. Ooh, not me going in with the wet brush. But yeah, homeboy thought I was his whole girlfriend asking me where I'm at, what I'm doing every two seconds, calling my phone down, asking why I don't invite him out to hang out with my friends tonight. And I'm like, did you forget that I've never even met you yet? So you think I'm going to just skip the whole meeting you in person to just come out with me and my friends or come out with my friends and I? No. I don't bring guys out with my friends and I know my friends. My friends are very crucial <laughs> so i just saved myself and other people the worries and yeah so that was just very weird to me i don't know if it was just me but i feed off of vibes so if you give me weird vibes then i'm gonna just come to the conclusion that you're a weird individual so that was one thing that happened another thing that happened is with me in general i'm not okay let me talk and then i'm gonna go get this Brush. So with me in general, I'm not picky when it comes to races that I date. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, I have to date a black man. It will be nice to date a black man. It will be nice to find a black man that, you know, checks off all of my boxes. But if somebody checks off all of my boxes, whether they're blue, green, purple, yellow, I'm going to appreciate them. I'm going to date them. I'm not going to close myself in the box and say, like, I'm only dating black men. That's just my opinion. That's my preference. That's that on that. So, I was talking to an Asian guy on Hinge. And he looked good. He was cool. Da, 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 da. So, we were speaking. And I forget. Oh. I feel. Oh. He. I never tell people I live at home. Just because I feel like. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that I live at home. But at the same time, it's not the first thing I'm going to say in a conversation. So we were speaking, we were speaking, and something came up. I think it was like his mom's birthday. And he was like, oh, um, something about him doing something that weekend for his mom's birthday. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, oh, where does your mom live? Because I know specifically in New York City, too, a lot of people aren't from New York City. A lot of people come from other states and live in New York City. So I wasn't sure if that was his case or not. But I was just making a conversation. I'm like, oh, where does your mom live? And he was like, upstairs. And I'm like, 
okay. Like, in my head, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I live at home too. But I think that he was ashamed of the fact that he still lived at home. But he didn't know that I still lived at home because we never, like, spoke about that. So, I responded. I was just like, okay. But the thing with me too is when I say, oh, okay, or when I say, okay, a lot of people feel like it has, like, a negative connotation to it. But it doesn't. So, low-key, I'm working on ways to enhance that part of my communication like instead of me just saying okay i'll be like okay cool or, okay that's cute or something like that so people don't just see it as oh, okay like it's not oh, okay it's just like oh okay um but yeah so after that he never wrote back to me and i'm like he was actually cool he worked out he was very nice he would write me like good morning he would write me good night all of that but it just didn't work out but overall i feel like my experience let me go get this brush hold on Overall, I feel like my experience trying Hinge and, you know, giving online dating a chance has taught me more about what I'm looking for when it comes to dating, especially in my late 20s. As you guys may or may not know, I am 27 years of age. So, at this point in my life, I'm dating to marry. I'm dating to have kids. I'm dating for the long run. I'm not out here trying to have fun and parlay anymore, okay? It's time for business. So, yeah. I feel like it was a great experience when it was. Um, if you guys watch my life update, I, I don't know if I should... Like, I'm dating someone, but I don't know if dating is the right term. Like, we're not together, but we just, you know, seeing where things are going to go. So, that's my situation right now. But it's crazy because I met him or, like, him and I... Um, I don't want to say got serious after the whole situation happened when Hinge got number one. So, yeah, I'm like, everything happens for a reason. Always trust God's timing. And with the pandemic, too, it was with the panorama. I'm going to just, with the P word, y'all know what I'm talking about. It was hard to, like, date or figure out. Let me take this off because I feel like. It was hard to figure out, like, how to date because one we didn't know how long it was gonna last two it was like i don't see nobody i don't leave the house so how am i gonna meet people so that's why i kind of resorted i was like let me just try it out you know like it's not gonna hurt oh this bronzer is very pigmented yeah i'm like it's not gonna hurt it didn't hurt it did teach me a lot which i'm grateful for but overall it ain't for me it's not for me I read, I'd rather meet people in person and see what your vibe is like because if I meet you online and then I meet you in person and you're weird, I'm going to be tight. So, yeah, I'd rather meet people in person. That's another thing I learned too. I'm just like online. Hmm. Hmm. It's a no for me, dog. But, yeah. That's my little story time of the dating app. It wasn't anything too crazy. Oh, I did have a little vlog footage. I was going to put it in one of my vlogs. But the timing just wasn't really right, if y'all feel what I'm saying. So, I'm going to insert it here. But, yeah, I'm going to just insert it here. Okay, so I don't know which video this is going to be included in. But I just wanted to give you guys a live update and review of the dating app that I've been using, neglecting, whatever you want to call it. So, the app is Hinge. And I joined in, I want to say January 2021. But I don't really check it often, so I just went on and I had 29 interests, girl. I like the boys are interested in me, okay? <laughs> but I just wanted to go through it and show you guys like the BS and like the good stuff that I guess occurs on this app. So, um, I'm not gonna show you guys my profile, but when you first go on it, like you have these panels at the bottom so the heart is basically people who are interested in you and then the h is like the home page so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the heart to see who's interested in me and y'all the first person i see like i was like let me record this because y'all probably gonna think i'm being dramatic exaggerating like the first person i see is my ex-boyfriend's cousin like you know who i am you know what i look like what are you hearting my profile for and you're a little boy like what his age say? 26? I don't think he's 26. And if he's 26, he wasn't giving me 26 when I met him when I was with my ex. So, ex. Next person. 
they liked my oh you could also see like what they like on your profile so they like my mantra stay ready so you never have to get ready first thing i'll be looking at is the picture like are you aesthetically pleasing on the eyes you know what i'm saying are you aesthetically challenged <laughs> and then i look at the job national business mm -hmm. hey kendra what are you most looking forward to over the next few months i'm on am i on a job interview um x um they like my photo mm. Mm. he's from georgia his pictures are face tuned x um this guy liked my photo you should not go on a date with me if you smoke cigarettes or do drugs okay cool do you agree or disagree that Starbucks is better than Duncan? Um, okay, tattoos. Mm. Mm, he's a barber. Um, okay, let me give him a chat. Let's see. Match with this guy. This person liked my photo. Firefighter. Mm. 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 the squinting of the eyes x i think we'll match x this person liked my photo his curls are tighter than mine mm. instagram feed is not x <sighs> this person liked my photo 27 queens new york Mm. X mm. X mm. X X X X everybody <laughs> Nah um that's enough for me right now like that's another thing too I'll be coming on like once a month and I probably match with two people but yeah that's my little live update of my i guess you could say my dating life but um, yeah it's not like y'all ask questions all the time so i'm like let me try to share a little bit more because y'all know i'm transparent or whatever but i can't really share what's non-existent you know what i'm saying like i can't so yeah that's my little update i haven't really been putting too much energy into the app either so maybe it's my fault as well but i've been busy so i don't know there's one somebody who's been in my dms and i know they into me because they asked about me and they cute or whatever but the social skills are lacking like lacking so i don't know we'll see but i'm about to go finish some work so but um in that clip i was like at that time i was just so over hinge and this was like I was still giving it a try because when I first connected with um, current guy, I'm like, I don't know, you know, where things are going to go. Let me just, you know, keep things calm and keep my options open. So I was still using it. Then once I realized like we were like, I don't want to say getting serious, but things were more than I thought it was. I'm like, let me just delete it from my phone. I don't have the time to check this once a week anyway. And the options were very, as you guys saw, not that optiony so i was just like it is what it is and they what it ain't so yeah this is my nice little simple face i'm gonna set my face i haven't done makeup in forever so if anything looks crazy that's my excuse that's my excuse but yeah i'm trying to buy new makeup and as you guys saw that primer was a fail so if you guys have any primer recommendations please leave them down below i did try um the milk hydro grip i wasn't a fan i tried the fenty soft matte and hydrating i love those but i think i really want to try the true matte especially for the summer and like hotter climates so i'm gonna pick that up i'm bringing this right back to sephora and i'm gonna get me the true matte fenty beauty and the Tula one, which I like. Um, what other primers did I try? 
I think that's about it. Because y'all know I just got into primers like literally a year ago. So yeah, comment with your favorite primers. Give me some suggestions. I tried a tinted and moisturizer today. It looks good. It doesn't give me as much coverage as I would like, but it still looks good. So I'm not even mad at it. And I'm about to do my lippy real quick. Wipe off my lip oil. I also been into lip oils now. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I've been super into lip oils lately. So I love the next one because it's only like it's less than five dollars and it works so well. This lip combo, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. It's um, Chestnut from MAC Lip Liner with Mob Wife's Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream on top, girl. Okay, let me go ahead and take these twists down and then I'll be back to show you guys the finish look. So this is the final look, you guys. Hair, makeup, skin, glow, all of that. It's the hood hooding outside for me. But um, yes, this is the final look here. Skin, glow, <laughs> face, all of that is here, okay? It's sitting, it's, it's hair. I look so freaking good. But I wanted to come back and close this video out. But before I close out, I wanted to give y'all some receipts. Because y'all know your girl always got a receipt. I was like, let me go back in my phone and see if I still have our thread. And sure enough, I do. So another thing that used to bother me about Hinge Guy number one is that he always used to be playing his game. And I have no problem with guys playing their game. But when we on the phone and when we speaking, I need... 99.9% attention. I'm probably being a little dramatic, but yeah, like pay me attention. So he would just be like, oh, I'm on the game. And I would text him two hours later, like, are you still playing the game? He's like, yeah, playing the game. Like, I don't know. It was just very shorthanded responses and I don't do that. So yeah, that's my little story time about me trying an online dating app. Comment down below and let me know if you guys ever tried one. If so, which one did you try? What was your experience? Let's chat down below in the comments. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. As I mentioned, all of the items will be linked down below. I also recorded a video on this here. So that video should be up next week after this video is posted. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that video if you guys are interested in the hair details and yeah so before you guys head out make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up drop that comment down below and until my next video i'll see you guys later